welcome back to my film and TV channel. Hope you all stay safe and well. Yes, we've got an action comedy to look at today. Apparently, one of the stars it was claimed was paid thirty-five million dollars to star in this, but uh, he denied this uh, categorically. Uh, so, well, well, we wonder anyway. Uh, interesting. They do put the budget on Wikipedia. They do quite they quote the budget has been anywhere between eighty-five million and two hundred million. Uh, eighty-five million is far too much for what we get, but uh, you can understand the paid out wages supposedly of 35 million and uh, yeah you can see how they got to that but uh, anyway it's not such a massive iconic film that warrants such a big budget in fairness it's for me it's a, a pretty competent straight to streaming film but that's about it what are we talking about well I'm talking about Wolves and that's what we'll talk about today a 15 certificate 108 minutes uh, run time Written directed by John Watts, and it stars, of course, and I don't know which of these got the 35, alleged 35 million, Clooney, Brad Pitt, Amy Ryan, Austin Abrams, and Puna Janagathan. Probably Puma got the uh, 35 million dollars, who knows? But uh, yeah, we'll have a talk about that today, please, guys. Uh, if you are new to the channel, uh, please push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. Uh, it'd be great to have you on board. I do fill, I do football stuff as well. For my football team, Manchester City, if you're interested in that. If you're not, there's loads of film and TV stuff, don't worry about it. Reviews like this or information vlogs, so uh, please jump on board and enjoy. I try and inform. We have the odd quiz thrown in as well. I did a quiz uh, a couple of weeks ago, so you want a bit of movie, TV fun, quiz-wise, uh, yeah, join, join us, guys. And if you do know anything interested in the football side, just give me a kick in my direction. Uh, to support the channel as well, subscription, we do have sponsors at the moment. There's a link in the comments below to their eBay shop where they sell movie posters and DVDs. A little firm called Piat 6505, they've been around for a long time, got 100% feedback on eBay over 12, 13 years on there, so you can buy with confidence, guys. And if you do see anything you there on there you like, uh, just mention me and you'll get an extra 10% off as well. So they dispatch it in 24, 48 hours. So uh, if you're interested in sponsoring yourself, this channel or the football channel or both, uh, please get in touch. But currently my thanks to Piat6505. Also to help me out, you can watch some of the ads. Uh, just go on your phone while it's flicking through. That helps me out. Even if you follow a link, even, you know, I've, I've done it myself. I've watched other people's vlogs and I've followed a link for something. Oh, I like the look of that. Uh, that all helps, of course. And yeah, if you can just help me out by giving us a like, that, that'd be absolutely wonderful as well. So uh, yeah, I think we've got a Halloween like up there because I'm, I'm recording this two or three weeks before uh, Halloween arrives. Yep, so it's plot. Well, it follows two professional fixers. So these these are the guys, if something goes wrong, they, they come and clean it up for you. They sort it out, a bit like the cleaners. Um, is it a bit like the cleaners? No, probably not. No, that's a more official, isn't it, the cleaners on the on that BBC TV, but uh, anyway, these do it in a little illegal way. The, the proper cleaners do it in a, in a proper way, of, of course, but these, these are sort of more covering for your politicians or gangsters who've done something wrong and they want something cleaning up. So these two are forced to work together on a job, uh, despite the preference to operate as lone wolves, or is it lone wolves? I don't know, it's confusing, but uh, there is a reason for the wolves. It's because obviously they're still, still independent, even though they're working together. Makes some sense, I suppose. The tagline for this film, they're not partners, they're not friends, they're wolves. There you go, so uh, bark at the moon. This is released, of course, on Apple TV+, Plus, which uh, uh, surprises me the amount of money that I suppose has been spent on it. On September the 27th, I'm doing this review on the 8th of October 2024. So all comments and anybody else's comments, which I'll give you later on after my summation of this, uh, are as at that date. Chemistry, yes, chemistry between the two. As you'd expect, it's worked before, hasn't it? Think uh, Ocean's Eleven, etc. But there's been a few other people involved as well. Uh, and if you like Clooney and Pitt, and what's not to like uh, for fans of Clooney and Pitt? It's as simple as that, they're both on screen. Uh, for this feature, though, for me personally, they're just too much alike. Yes, one's a little bit more cockier. I'll leave that to you to decide which one. One is a bit more cocky than the other, but uh, I think personality-wise, because of the job they're in, um, there's not much, not much rub there. I wouldn't mind seeing, you know, someone can be a little bit more manic and do the job. They're just they were too far too laid back for me, and of course that affected the chemistry on screen between them, which I thought was okay, but uh, sort of stymied it a little bit, kept it 
a little bit uh, do, you know, dug down. Uh, Humour, which is supposed to be in a comedy thriller like this. Again, it, I think it works if you think these guys are wonderful, for, wonderful, but for me it was all a little bland and a little bit samey. Some of the action humour we've seen time and time again in previous uh, incarnations of these sort of films. Mr and Mrs Smith, you know, there's action comedy involved. Um, and we've seen it all before. There's nothing in this uh, that you think, oh, that was different and funny. Uh, I just didn't laugh. Simple as that. I might, I might have smiled once or twice, but it could have been wind. I'm not too sure. So no, the humour, even though, again, two great actors, didn't quite work for me. And the film length, it was just too long. Uh, I, I, found, I found myself switching off when I was watching this, waiting for some little deviation in plot. And there was some deviation in plot. You know, you, you thought of watch, start watching the first 15 minutes, you think, well, are they going to sort of move this around a bit and they do as you'd expect in an action film because it's classed as an action film as well but it, it was sort of as I said beyond the it was just the formulaic and it didn't get any further than that and yeah actors other actors about all other actors there's actually a couple of guys in this that I, I won't mind seeing a bit more of in, in the film of the lady at the start and there's a, a lady sort of who helps to fix us later on in the film I don't want to give too much away but I wouldn't mind seeing a bit more of them rather than uh, of course, uh, the two main protagonists. But sadly, overall, I did go a little bit bored with this. And that ending, well, <sighs> the Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid ending was just a little too much for me. I just, I just, I just sighed. I just thought, oh, please. Um, you know, it's a homage, of course it is, but it's just absolutely total. Lacks any sort, of, any sort of thought for me. It was just, and a lot of this film did for me. It was just by the numbers, by. Uh, you know, taking bits and pieces from all over the place. For fans of it, there is a sequel plan, so fill your boots. Uh, I won't be in any rush to watch that unless it's a lot better and perhaps a few more characters added to the mix. But my scores on Rotten Tomatoes, I've been rotten on this one. On Metacritic, I have to be mixed. I'm not going to be totally negative because, as I say, there was elements. It's, it's, you know, it's these two guys. It's Clooney and Pitt, so it, there are bits in it that are okay. And even my score, I, I am going to give it a score, but I'm just going to give it my minimum score because, as I said, it, they knocked half an hour off it. I thought I might, I think I might have liked it, as long, as long as he'd not the best, the worst half hour out of it, and not took some of the other bits that I liked out of it. Uh, it was all right uh, as a as a thing to watch on streaming rather than going to to a cinema, which I would have been disappointed if I'd gone to watch this as a cinema. So I am going to give it a five out of ten, but that's uh, seemingly low to some of the people. So I am being a bit, uh, you know, being a bit negative. Some people are being a bit more positive. Let's have a look at some of the other thoughts. Rotten Tomatoes. 5.9 out of 10, so a little bit, and you know, like if a film gets 6 out of 10, I'm quite impressed. That's 113 fresh, but a big chunk of rotten, almost half, 53 rotten. The consensus reads, Clooney and Brad Pitt's professional star power gives Wolf's zip, even when it cycles through cliches of the fixer genre, making for a pleasing and slick throwback. Metacritic, yeah, 60 out of 100, so 60%. That was based on 51 critics. 31 were positive, 17 like me were mixed, but three were negative. Some of the positive comments from various critics include Wolf's is classy, smart, fun, and engaging storytelling, a solid film. Someone said a faultless sense of timing, and it becomes a gift that keeps on giving in the hands of Clooney, Pitt, and a fine supporting cast. Well, I agree with the fine supporting cast bit. Wolf's isn't just funny, it's funny in all the different ways it needs to be. Thankfully, someone has come to the not hard to deduce realisation that Clooney and Pitt are good together. Yeah, they are, but a little bit more if I wanted. This used to be a typical Friday night of the movies, and now it's a rarity. You know, perhaps typical, and the Friday nights have moved on. Some so so reviews, not even the star power of Clooney and Pitt can elevate this beyond the level of a passable disposable thriller. For those looking for an easy on the eye, brainy neutral thriller, Wolf still hits the spot. Yeah. There are few movie stars as straightforwardly enjoyable to watch as Clooney and Pitt. But the film, hmm. Negatives, yeah, a painfully derivative buddy movie. A film that erases itself so thoroughly from your memory, it's almost as if Pitt and Clooney had performed one of their bespoke clean-up services on your brain. <laughs> uh, the, the criticisms are always funny, aren't they? It's a dreadful laugh-free slog that tests the limits of what star power alone can salvage. Yes, that's not me, that's another critic. So there you go, guys. Uh, about the users, job public, Rotten Tomatoes users, not overly infused, 49% positivity, but we got 3 out of 5, so we're getting up to 6 out of 10. 
Metacritic users again 6.2 out of 10, all good. And Internet Movie Database, 29,000 scores and reviews as I'm recording this. And it's getting a very healthy 6.5. So I say I'm a little bit down on most people. But uh, that's a personal opinion. But, uh, you know, if, you, if you're a Clooney and Pitt fan or fan of either or both, uh, you'll be okay with this. I just wanted a little bit more from these two gentlemen. and Not not the gentlemen. They can only do what's put in front of them, can't they? I just wanted a bit more from this story. And as I say, they had slightly more varying personalities i think it could have been made a little bit a little bit better but hey, that's just my opinion and that's what it's all about isn't it and we can't all have the same opinion let me know what you think anyway guys if you're a big fan or you're not of uh, cludy and pit who isn't um just let me know it'd be great to know your views on this as well my socials are on screen there so if you want to get in touch about any ways of supporting the channel, uh, please do so. I'd love to hear from you, as well as hearing about this film or anything to do with film and TV. It's always great to to have ch to have a chat, and I, I try and respond, or I do respond uh, to, as long as I don't miss the messages, which I do sometimes uh, to any anything you have to say. So it'd be great to hear from you. To meet again, only a last one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.